So in this our speaking part one, now I would like to ask you some questions about games. What games are popular in your country? There are several types of games uh, in my country which is uh, which are popular like football, cricket, badminton and <coughs> I, uh, I, mean, uh, I can uh, speak about uh, football. It's a popular game of uh, back, back, uh, my country and uh, the um, almost uh, the whole year it's played in every place of this country. And the other uh, other games also here are popular like cricket and uh, like seasonal uh, games like uh, badminton and uh, uh, cheese and uh, also the other games are also popular in my country. Okay. Do you play any games? Uh, definitely, I play more. Uh, I play uh, several types of games like cricket, football, badminton, uh, volleyball also. Uh, but my favorite game is cricket. I love. Uh, I am keen on cricket, and when I whenever I get free time, I often play cricket with my friends. How do people learn to play games in your country? Uh, in my countries, people learn uh, learn games uh, by uh, several ways. Uh, when uh, their children from their childhood they learn uh, gaming uh, from their uh, relatives and uh, also with their friends. <coughs> And also in my country, there are plenty of areas are open for playing, and they, the the places also free for playing. And the other thing is the my uh, uh, country's people are also uh, hardworking people, and they, when they uh, whenever they get free time, they also uh, like to play games, several types of games. Okay. Do you think it's important for people to play games? Uh, obviously, I think uh, it's very crucial for our health and also our mind. Uh, whenever we uh, play various types of uh, games which are uh, involved with our uh, body, like when whenever we play cricket or like football, it also helps our body to keep and fit. And also, uh, the other thing is when uh, the play also removes our stress from our mind. Uh, we are also busy, uh, we are also nowadays we are also busier with our words and we are, uh, whenever we get free time, if we uh, play several types of games, then it also removes our stress. Thank you very much, that is the end of our speaking part 1. Now, in the speaking part 2, I will be giving you a cue card and you will be given 1 minute for your preparation. You can make notes if you want to. So, here is the white page. Into the pencil. The topic is describe an open air or street market which you enjoyed visiting. Your one minute time starts now. Okay. So you can start speaking. Remember one thing: you shouldn't stop until I stop you. Good luck. <coughs> well, now I'm describing an uh, open air or street market uh, which I enjoyed very much. Uh, it is a uh, Jaflong uh, local bazaar. Uh, first of all, I want to share about the scenery of this place. It is, an, it is a mesmerizing place of my uh, country and uh, also my city. It is situated in Silet, the last point of uh, Bangladesh. And every weekend, every, uh, in every week, uh, it uh, helps once or twice in every week. Uh, it is not a, on a, it is not a, uh, it is not a uh, it is not a uh, <coughs> okay uh, it is a it is a local uh, <coughs> local uh, bazaar and there are also um, various types of goods and foods are available we can uh, we can find find there are various types of uh, local foods like uh, uh, guavas and also uh, jackfruits, mangoes and so many types of uh, fruits are also available there. And there also, we can, I can, uh, which is very interesting for me, it is the uh, various types of uh, makeup box for women and also the various types of uh, cleaning uh, commodities. And the other thing is most interesting uh, about this place is the 
uh, it is not a covered market it is a open yard market there are also uh, there are, uh, we can uh, go there by uh, uh, by uh, local transport and also the yard is very uh, neat and clean and the air is also fresh of this market and there uh, the food uh, food quality of this uh, market is also very good uh, thank you thank you very much so there is the end of our speaking part two can i take the paper and place there okay now we will start our speaking part three in this part three i would like to ask you some general questions based on the q card i have provided you do people in your country enjoy going to open air street markets that sell things like food or clothes or old objects which type of markets is more popular uh, from my perspective uh, there are uh, two types of markets are also popular in my country like uh, uh, like uh, mega mall or like uh, street markets uh, for example in my uh, cities there are available uh, street markets in uh, the center of the cities uh, first of all uh, people like to buy some things uh, like uh, there are uh, regular commodities like uh, rice uh, rice uh, car, uh, fruits or another things like clothes and also the in the street markets the price of the goods are also reasonable and they can uh, buy easily when they are going to uh, their house or when going to their uh, relatives house they can buy, uh, buy easily from street market it is uh, and mega mall are also uh, popular in our country but uh, our uh, people are not so uh, sufficient by economically so in uh, so the richest people go mega mall often do you think markets are more suitable places for selling certain types of things which ones why do you think this is okay Definitely, uh, I think markets are a very crucial part of our uh, daily life, and we can find our daily lives, uh, daily lives uh, commodities uh, in markets. And there are so uh, so many uh, different types of uh, goods, and also uh, also also products are available in markets. And <coughs> we can buy uh, various types of things uh, which is very uh, uh, necessary for ourselves and <clears throat> i think the local market and the street markets are very impo uh, important for our daily lives okay do you think young people feel the same about shopping at markets as older people uh, okay could you repeat please do you think young people feel the same about shopping at markets as older people? No, I don't think so that uh, the older and the younger people uh, feel same things. Because um, uh, uh, older people has various types of uh, older people has different uh, feelings about uh, about marketing, and younger people has also different feelings. When younger people goes to go to market, they uh, I when, um, I see that uh, younger people go with their uh, friends most of the time, and the older people goes with their uh, relatives or their family members. And the other thing is, younger people like to buy some things, uh, new trend, trendy uh, uh, things, and younger, uh, older people like to buy their uh, necessary things from market. Okay. And what do you think are the advantages of buying things from shops rather than markets? Could you repeat, please? What do you think are the advantages of buying things from shops rather than markets? I think there are uh, plenty of advantages uh, for buying things from uh, shops than markets. For example, uh, I can uh, say that uh, from market we can uh, uh, we can buy various types of things, and there are also uh, various types of uh, things are available. But in shops we cannot fi uh, find uh, everything which are need for us, and. Uh, 
we can uh, buy the regular things from shops but uh, we, we cannot find the uh, regular things in the mega mall or in markets okay. so i think it is the difference between them how does advertising influence what people choose to buy is this true for everyone obviously uh, it is very important uh, advertisement is very important for marketing or buying anything uh, like uh, when uh, we want to buy some things and we don't know about the product and the, about the products activities we can uh, easily uh, learn knowledge about the product from advertising and also advertise advertisement uh, advertisement uh, advertisement effect in the uh, in uh, buying for various types of things and the other thing is that advertisement uh, advertisement can uh, can easily uh, make a uh, make a huge customer of any things okay do you think that any recent changes in the way people live have affected general shopping habits? Could you repeat please? Do you think that any recent changes in the way people live have affected general shopping habits? Uh, I think uh, one of the things that uh, are affecting in general shopping like our incomes. It affects our uh, for buying anything. When we get more income or more uh, revenue from any from our daily works, then we also like to buy some things uh, uh, very new or, or we also like to buy something brand uh, brand products. But when uh, whenever our income is not so more than our acceptation, that time we. Uh, that time we also like to buy something uh, like uh, uh, reasonable things okay thank you very much that is the end of our speaking test now i'll give you short feedback on the performance you have done you know there are four criteria of our speaking test number one fluency and coherence then pronunciation and then lexical resource or vocabulary then grammar let me start with fluency. Uh, I want to start with part two. In part two, your study was very low. Yeah, it feel that uh, you were in low confidence to start the speaking in part two. And uh, in some of the cases, you repeated the sentences. So what I feel that you couldn't cover all the data and you took uh, much time to explain the core information of the topic in part one your answers were okay but in some of the occasions I felt that you could have a broadened answer in part three uh, the same problem in part three some of the answers you made with the repetitive sentences that is where you are getting stuck uh, in some of the options and then you are repeating the previous sentences those you used earlier okay and in some occasions you got stuck especially in part two at the last point you were just about to start and then you restarted it and sometimes you had a problem of mumbling so in fluency <coughs> section i will give you five out of nine now let's talk about uh, pronunciation uh, you had mistaken in some of the words pronunciation like uh, the word is chess you say cheese and uh, when you talked about street you said street it's street not street you said acceptation it is Accept expectation. expectation okay really? you say economically it will be economically okay so in pronunciation I will give you five and five and there, there is a common problem of stress, I mean, when we need to volume up and volume down. Let's talk about vocabulary. I found some of uh, advanced synonyms like revenue, mega mall, mesmerizing, and uh, keen on, neat and clean, etc. But uh, in some of the occasions, you use some uh, too weak terms. For example, you say, if we want to know about product activities we need to follow advertisement actually it will be not product activity uh, product functions okay 
So there are some other uh, minor mistakes. You also used uh, crucial, etc. So in vocabulary section, I gave you 5.5 out of 9. Now let's talk about grammar. I found some of the mixture of your grammars like passive voice, complex sentences, uh, and in some occasions you used uh, conditional sentence. But you had mistaken the um, preposition like you said by ways, it will be in many ways. You said by economically, it will be just economically. And in very rare occasions, sometimes you had mistaken in tense, but I think that is not a big deal and um, let me talk about one of the sentences that you used you said goods are reasonable actually goods are not reasonable it will be uh, the price of the goods is reasonable okay so in grammatical section I put six out of nine overall your score stands 5.5 although it's possible for you to extend the score in your final examination so best of luck thank you